April Chambers is suing her former friend, Jamie Mejia, for unpaid childcare expenses, lost wages, and a pet deposit. Order. All rise. It's case number 38 on the calendar in the matter of Chambers versus Mejia. Thank you. You're welcome, Judge. Parties have been sworn in. You may be seated. Ladies, have a seat, please. Ms. Chambers, Ms. Mejia was a friend of yours. There came a time when she came to live with you. Yes, ma'am. When was that? She came to live with me on March 22nd, 2017. How many children does she have did she bring with you? Three children and a dog. Tell me why she came to live with you. She had contacted me on Facebook Messenger, and the pretense for what she contacted me under was saying she was sorry for not making it to my wedding, that she didn't have the funds available at the time, and then we started sharing our situations, and she let me know at the time that she was homeless with her three kids, and the situation with that homeless shelter was very difficult for her because she had to leave every day and go to a library and had nowhere to go, basically. So you invited her to your home? Correct. I felt bad for her. She was my friend, so I wanted to help her out. That was nice. So she came on March 22nd. She stayed for how long? Jamie Mejia left my house on April 9th, going to the Dominican Republic. She was going to the Dominican Republic on a vacation. That's what I thought. How did you get to the Dominican Republic? I got a ticket. She was supposed to go with me, Your Honor, for my birthday. Okay. You bought a ticket with what? With my tax return. How old are your three children? 14, 10, and 7. When you moved in with Miss Chambers in March, school is still open. You enrolled them in what school? Meadowbrook Elementary. Well, the 14-year-old doesn't go to elementary school. What school did you enroll the 14-year-old in? I think it's Krieger. That's incorrect, Your Honor. Did she enroll the children in school? She did, but that's not the school her daughter was enrolled in. She was actually enrolled in Morgan Middle School. When she left on April 9th, did she leave you any money for the children? No, she did not. And just to speak on what she just testified to, she didn't put them in the correct school. Her daughter has autism, and I was getting calls from the school every day telling me she was in the incorrect school. There was a special needs school that she was supposed to be enrolled in. When did she come back? I don't know when she came back, Your Honor, because I got tired of waiting. She didn't come back within the one week that she told me she was coming back in. Well, I want you to tell me when you kept the children until. I kept the kids until the middle of May. Incorrect, Your Honor. Don't speak out. And then what did you do with them? I had to because I didn't have any support for them. Just a I... second. I don't care whether you kept them for two weeks or three weeks. I understand. She's not supposed to leave her children, three children with you. Right. Did you hear from her after April 9th? Yes. We had a couple of arguments through Facebook Messenger in regards to her not coming back on time. Do you have those? Yes, I do. I'd like to take a look at them. And I put the page numbers on there just so you're not flicking through all those pages of conversation. Well, she keeps telling you you have to come back and handle the things for your kids, paperwork, school. And who is this person that you were going to the Dominican Republic to help out? This, this is my husband. I got married. And she was aware of that. Just a second. She just told you that you had to come home and take care of stuff with your children. When I asked her for the information, she would tell me that it was in my daughter's phone. She never gave me a name or a contact number. You should have number. been home with your children. 